Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to back up your Linux installation the easy way with GNOME Disks. So please check out the description below and follow the article link. You will see the instructions as to how to get this working on your operating system of choice. But once you've got it installed, launch the program, and this is what you'll see. Depending on how many hard drives you have is how many it'll show up on the side. I have one, two, three, four hard drives on my computer, so it all four show up. I also have a USB drive inserted. So I'm going to be covering how to back up stuff with the flash drive because the flash drive is the smallest in terms of size. So we don't have to wait here for me to compress and save a one terabyte ButterFS hard drive or a giant NTFS drive. Instead, we can just work on this one. So there are two ways uh, to save and back up your stuff. The first way is backing up individual partitions. So the way this works is you want to go through and select an active partition. So if you look at my flash drive, only 1.8 gigabytes of it is in use. And the bootloader partition, it's another 2.4 uh, megabytes. This is completely free space, so I can't do anything with this. So that can be ignored. But if I want to back up this partition in general, all I do is select it, then I click the gear button, and I click Create Partition Image. Now from here, I can save it as an ISO file or an IMG file. Generally, it's best to go with what the default option is. So if the tool saves it as an ISO file, you should go with that. But it'll automatically name it based on the partition. You can also name it yourself. So I could call it uh, flash one ISO and then all I do is go here and I can click other and I can find where I want to select and save my image file then I just click the start creating button and I have to enter my password and it will create a backup image and of course because I have no actual use for this I'm going to just cancel it but that's how you do individual partitions. And here we see our backup here. Now the other way to backup devices is to do a complete hard drive image or a device image. So to do that, you don't select any of these because these don't, this won't let us do that. So what you do is you go up here, you click create disk image, and this will create an image of the entire device. So this goes for any hard drive. It doesn't matter, big or small. Just click create disk image and you can do it. And uh, once you do so, you click the Browse button, as usual, to tell it where to save to. Name the file, whatever you'd like to name it. In this case, I think the, the label that the program has given it is appropriate. But after that, I just click the Start Creating button. And it will go through. It'll do the master boot record and everything even the free space, and it'll do a direct image, the exact size of the flash drive. So if your flash drive is 8.1 gigabytes like mine, it'll make an 8.1 gigabyte backup file. If your hard drive is 1.0 terabytes, it will make a one terabyte file. So you need to have a lot of space for using this kind of stuff. But if you wanna restore an image at any time, it's in the same menu. So you select your device, then you go up here, and instead of clicking create disk, you click restore image. You browse to the image. In my case, I'm going to restore the bootloader that I made earlier. I click the open button and uh, it actually shows you the details here. It's saying destination 8.1 gigabytes and then image size 2.4. So no big deal. Just make sure that the image is big enough to fit on it. Like don't try to restore 100 gigabytes to an 8.1 gigabyte or something like that, or you know, a one terabyte drive to a 480 or 320 or, or, or stuff like that. You just need to make sure that both destinations are, you know, you gotta make sure that they're both, you gotta make sure that they'll fit. But once you've found your image that you're going to restore to the device, just click the start restoring button and click the restore button again and the job will go through and now, as we can see, the image that we made earlier is now restored to the flash drive.
So guys, that's how to back up your Linux install on GNOME disks.